hi cuties it's gonna be a good day you know why it's gonna be a good day i woke up early this morning i went for a walk it was actually so nice out it had like you could tell it had just rained and it was like drizzling a little bit and just like the vibes were so good it was crisp i got my 5,000 steps in came home had a little breakfast had a shower washed my hair i'm feeling so clean i'm wearing this new top that i got from maritzia and this little skirt and isn't this neckline just like the best like i'm just obsessed with it so i actually ordered it in three colors or i have it in three colors now and i'm going to be working from home today i have a couple of calls but overall like a pretty chill day i feel like i was really productive all of this week so today is going to be like a nice like chill work from home Friday which we love that and then tonight I'm actually meeting Mitzi who if you didn't know Mitzi is my boss but also my friend and also the co-host of my podcast um, Easy Reads and we're getting together tonight at the little wine bar in Marta Loop to discuss and plan an event that we're planning for Easy Reads which for Easy Reads which is really exciting and more details to come on that but that's gonna be really nice and then I actually have a really busy weekend which I'll tell you about later because I need to get to work but it's gonna be a good one it's gonna be a good one I can feel it I'm about to get on a call and I think I want another little coffee to get me through the day um, it's like 1 p.m. right now or coming up to 1 because that's when my call is so my cutie little mug For lunch I just cooked up a bunch of ground turkey and I put some taco seasoning in there and then I made myself a little taco salad this looks so good it's romaine red onion tomatoes a bit of cheese cilantro and then this leftover cilantro jalapeno dressing that we had last night I'm just gonna put some turkey on here and it's gonna be fantastic this is my ideal lunch the only thing that's missing is some guac or some avocado but I do not have either of those but like seriously she's stunning it's just after six and I'm meeting Mitzi at the wine bar at eight and we're gonna do a little cheese board situation. So for dinner, I just wanted something light. So this was like really easy to throw together. Frozen shrimp, frozen green beans, frozen edamame, just with like some miso, gochujang, soy sauce, sesame oil, garlic, um, and sesame seeds. And I just kind of like sauteed it up and I think that will be perfect for me. And then we'll have a little cheese board later. And that'll be my dinner. Okay, for my outfit, I'm trying not to do too much because I'm literally going across the street. But I have this little sweater that I thrifted recently. And I'm still a little bit undecided on it. I've only worn it like once, I think. But it's kind of like cold and rainy out. And I don't know, we might be sitting outside, but I thought that it was just like kind of nice and like a little bit casual, you know? and just my gap jeans that I always wear. And then I'm gonna bring this purse and I think I'm gonna wear flip flops. So that's my little wine bar charcuterie outfit. So I just told Mitzi to text me when she was leaving her place uh, because she wanted to go after she put her kids down and she just texted me that she's leaving. So right on time, we were planning to meet around eight and it's 7.58, so I'm gonna go across the street. I hope that we don't have to wait for a table, but if we do, that should be fine. Um, I know that there's, it's like pretty small. It's super, super cute. It's called Avidus. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but there's space like inside and outside, so. Let's go check it out. Okay, that was lovely. I just got a little like Italian soda thing so I didn't drink and we got some cheese and meat and we talked about our event. It was lovely but I just had to do a major detour because my street is like torn up with construction and I actually don't even know when where I can cross. I think I have to walk all the way down here which is annoying but it's like 10 30 so we're there for a couple of hours 
and just heading home now. Okay, it was really nice to go out and that place is so cute, but I'm happy to be home. I'm such a homebody that like, I just love being home. <laughs> I'm gonna take off my makeup and I thought that I could chit chat a little bit about this event that we're planning. So if you didn't know, um, we have a podcast called Easy Reads and it's a reading podcast and we have different guests on and they pick books for us and we read the books and we talk about the books and it's been so fun. And we really wanted to put on this event because we go to a lot of like local events in Calgary and they're always so fun. And like, I've always, I've done some events, but not like my own, you know, for like my own project. I've always done other people's events, but we just knew that we wanted to do an event. And we just like have this guest list of like these Calgary girlies that we know would be like such a good, like would make such a good crew for an event. And it's a little bit intimidating because we have a lot of work to do. Like we have to secure a venue. We're gonna try and get sponsors for like some goodie bags. And that's really intimidating because we're gonna be asking people for free stuff, you know? And I just like don't know how hard it's gonna be. Like I oscillate between like, oh yeah, it'll be easy. We have lots of connections. We know people. And then I'm like, oh no, what? Like everyone's gonna say no to us because <laughs> we're like such a small little podcast. So we are excited but nervous i think we're going to try and do it in october if you live in calgary and you'd be interested in attending comment down below i'd love to pass along an invite to you if we have the space and yeah we're excited but yeah again a little bit intimidated by how much work is ahead of us and we just don't know how difficult it's going to be like i know that events are a lot of work but we just haven't gotten into it yet. So we kind of talked ideas of what we wanted the event to be, what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some cute little things like a book swap where people are gonna bring a book and then we're gonna have like a gift wrapping station and you can wrap it up and then write what the book's about and then you're gonna like swap it with someone. We might do a little like bookmark making station with like little charms. We're obviously gonna have like food and drink and we're hoping to have it at like a store where people can do like a little shopping and we just wanna make it really nice for people and we're gonna like try and do like really amazing gift, gift bags, goodie bags. We're gonna try and make like custom totes, Easy Reads totes. So yeah, it's really fun and exciting, but um, I'll take you along the journey because I'm sure it will be a journey. So yeah, it is 10.32. I think I'm gonna watch a little bit of YouTube. Mac is still at work, but he should be home shortly. Watch a little bit of YouTube, read my book. I started a new book. I finished The Unhoneymooners and I did not like it. I think I gave it a two star, so I would not recommend that one but I'm now reading The Last Love Note, I think it is, and I just started it last night, so I don't know how good it is yet, but I will update you on that. I'm really glad that I washed my hair because it feels nice and clean. I'm also really excited because tomorrow morning I am getting Botox, and I mean, you can probably not see in here, but I haven't gotten Botox in like over a year, and I kind of wanted to see, Botox is very expensive, right? And I kind of wanted to see where I was at, like where my wrinkles were at, and it'll just be so nice to get it again like i just like feel more confident when i have it and i just get a little bit and you know i wanted to see what it was like without it and i'm fine without it but i prefer my face with it so anyways that's tomorrow morning then tomorrow afternoon i'm getting together with my best friend steph she is currently living in germany but she's in town so i'm really 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 excited to see her tomorrow afternoon and then in the evening mac and i are going to go to his parents for a barbecue so it's gonna be a very busy day tomorrow so i should, probably shouldn't stay up too late but i kind of have a lot of energy now that we're talking about this event you know just exciting things big things coming Good morning cuties, happy Saturday. So it's 9.53, I woke up at 8.30 and I've been scrolling TikTok in bed ever since, but I have to leave for my Botox appointment soon and I actually want to go and get gas and a car wash before. I've been like meaning to do this for so long. So I wanna try and do that. So I'm gonna make myself a smoothie, maybe take it to go, go do gas, car wash, then go to my Botox appointment. I don't really have like that many ingredients for a smoothie, but I don't know, I was just feeling like one. So I'm gonna do frozen bananas, some yogurt, some of this, probiotics, 
um, some peanut butter and some protein powder. And then I don't have any milk, so I'll probably just do water. So I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but we'll see. Taste test. Okay, yum. It tastes like a milkshake, honestly. Slay. So we have one parking stall um, in the back of our place and Mac is such a sweetie and usually lets me park there like 99% of the time. But the construction in Martelloup has been so bad and so the other day he just parked in our spot so I parked on the street so I'm just walking over to my car and then we're gonna go and get some stuff done. I have a couple minutes before my appointment so I'm just parked outside and I got gas and a car wash, finally. But let me just complain for a second, okay? So when you're picking your car wash, there's like three levels, right? The first one was called like rinse. And then the second one was like regular. And the third one was like absolutely everything. So I chose the middle one. I chose like the regular. And it was like so short and they didn't even put soap on my car. It's like, what's the point of a car wash if they're not even gonna put soap on it so anyways note to sell for next time to choose the everything one but lord we're just getting absolutely sewered everywhere let me show you my forehead before there's not gonna be much of a difference like right away it takes like two weeks to kick in but you see those fine lines that's what we're getting rid of okay okay you They've totally renovated since I've been here last and it's so nice. Look at this bathroom. All done. Sometimes you can see like the little pin pricks. I guess you can a little bit, but yes. Results take like two weeks and fun fact, the more you move your forehead, the quicker it kicks in. It like, I don't know, massages it to like, or stimulates it to like start working. So catch me after Botox just being like, I'm so excited for the results. Okay, I have less time than I thought I was gonna have, but I'm just making myself a little food. So I'm doing two fried eggs, some ground turkey that has some taco seasoning on it. And I'm just gonna do like a little bowl. I have some cherry tomatoes, red onion, cilantro, and I'm gonna put some cheese on it. So just kind of like throw everything in a bowl, but I'm meeting Steph at 12.30, but I do need to go to Sunday State Co. for a little gift for her because it was just her birthday. So I need to eat this quick, get ready, go to the store and then meet her at Monogram for 12.30. I left my camera in my car, so I'm just vlogging on my phone. I put on a tiny bit of makeup just to feel a little bit more put together. And I just have on this matching set from Uniqlo with a sweater. I'll probably get hot and take it off and just tie it around my waist but that's the little walking fit. We're gonna do a big walk. We're gonna meet at Monogram, which is like our fave thing to do. Probably get a little iced latte and just do a big walk um, around like Sandy Beach area and kind of just do the walk that I always do, but with my bestie, my long distance bestie. So I'm so excited to see her, but let's head over to Sunday State Co and find a little birthday gift before we go. Okay, that was a flop both little boutiques had signs on them that was like be back in 15 minutes your girl doesn't have 15 minutes okay it's also very warm outside so i think i need to change because this sweater is not gonna cut it and i think i need to put on some body sunscreen cold nights and cold days living in the shadows is it never find the light living in this endless night promises are never keep Whisper lies when I'm asleep Lonely as a sit and weep Love me now or let me leave Hi friends, so Steph and I did such a big walk we did 12,000 steps, which is iconic, and we just caught up for hours, and it was lovely. It was very warm out, though, and so, like, I had to rush home, get some water, get a little snack, and kind of just, like, recover, 
It is four o'clock now, and I think that we're not going to Mac's parents until like seven, because Mac will be working until like, I don't know, he'll be home probably 6.20 or something, and then we will head over there. So I have a ton of time, and I'm thinking of having a nap. I've been craving a nap for a while, like maybe like a week, and I wanna have it in our office on our little day bed. I've been really loving having naps on that day bed because if I nap in our bed, it's like my brain is like, oh, sleep time, so I sleep for like hours, but if I have a nap on the day bed, I just have a nap, you know, if that makes sense. So I don't want to sleep uh, like, you know, too long because I want to do some other stuff. I don't know exactly what that is, but I think I may go and have a little bit of a nap and then maybe like watch some YouTube. I'll have to change into something like pretty casual, but like just not this, you know, and what else? I don't know. Tomorrow we're having, Mac and I are having lunch with my aunt. She always likes to go out for lunch for my birthday and my birthday is coming up. I can't believe I'm turning 31. I don't wanna talk about it. No, I'm like not nervous or, or I'm not like dreading turning 31. It's just crazy how time flies. Like it just feels like it was just my 30th birthday. Anyways, so yeah we're gonna go for lunch with her tomorrow and i think that's everything i have going on tomorrow i also want to hit the gym tomorrow you can't work out after botox so i couldn't go today but i'm still trying to get back into the gym like i've only been to the gym one time since i did like a big hiatus like from may so i'm just still getting back into it and yeah so i think i'll probably go to the gym tomorrow and that's the current situation definitely a busier weekend than normal but all good stuff and i'm having a nice time i don't think i've given an update on this liquid iv but i got this from costco and this flavor is so good i mean it's the only one that i've tried <laughs> i haven't tried any others but it's very good. It's quite sweet though. So like I usually put it in like a big thing of water to kind of dilute it as much as possible, but very good. I fear I did not sleep. I fear I scrolled TikTok for hours just laying there. But anyways, <laughs> um, Mac is on his way home. So I just changed. I'm just wearing a black tee and some jeans and I'm going to bring a sweater. I love going to Mac's parents for dinner. I really, really love his family. And we always just have such a nice wholesome time. So I'm gonna sign off for the evening and I'll catch you tomorrow. I think we found our Maui accommodation. So we were just looking at an Airbnb and one of our top contenders, I like recognized the name. I was like, Kamoli Sands. So I texted my mom and 16 years ago when we went, my parents got married, that's where we stayed. So I think that's the one that we're gonna book and it's like 3,000 for the week, which is honestly not bad. It's like 300 a night, which like accommodation on Maui is just so expensive. So I think we're gonna book it and I'm really excited, but we have to get ready now and go for lunch with my aunt. And this pain, it's all I know. Okay, so we had a nice lunch, a couple of hours, and then we had a couple things that we needed to do. We have like a broken toilet. We had to go to Rona and get this part, and then I also wanted to see if they could cut my key, but they can't, so I have to go to like a locksmith place, and it's closed today, so I'll have to go tomorrow. But now, we're gonna head home. Hi cuties, it is four o'clock, and I'm just trying to will myself to go to the gym. I need to get my steps in and do a little workout, but I'm so excited because Mac and I booked our Airbnb for Hawaii. So if you've missed my last couple of vlogs, we're going to Maui in February of next year and that we could not be more excited. And we were looking at Airbnb and there's like lots of options, like lots of good options, but it's very expensive to stay on Maui. And so we were trying to find something that was like, around $300 a night we're going for a week and yeah we found a couple of options and we kind of like narrowed it down and there was like one that was really sticking out to us and I recognized the name 
and I was like, I think that this is where we stayed in 2008 when my parents got married. So I texted my mom and asked her and she confirmed that it was that place. I remember it being good, but it's just so funny. Like, what are the chances? And so we ended up booking that and I'm really, really happy with it. I'm really happy because it looks like pretty big and there's actually two bathrooms, which most of the places that we were looking at only had one bathroom. And it looks like a nice pool area, location's really good. And we also wanted to find a place that had like that kitschy Hawaii decor, you know? Like there were some places that we were looking at that were just like nice, but like wasn't giving Hawaii. Like it was almost like too nice. We wanted like that tacky decor, you know? So I'll insert a picture of what our Airbnb looks like, but I am so, so, so excited. And at this point we have our flights, a rental car, and accommodation so now it's six months away so now we can just be excited and save up some money for spending while we're there also pay off everything that we just booked because it is not cheap but i could not be happier so what's on deck for today is just got to go to the gym then i'm going to come home we're going to order some groceries make some dinner get ready for the work week but it's been a really busy weekend but it's been great i got to do lots of stuff and I'm happy with it. And I'm so excited to go to Hawaii. I hope that you know that I'll be talking about this for the next six months. I've even been thinking about like, okay, like how many vlogs should I do while I'm there? And like, I'm just so excited. I feel like the vlogs are gonna pop off. But anyways, um, I hope that you enjoyed watching this weekend in my life. I will start another vlog tomorrow, start of the work week. I have one week left of work and then I actually have 10 days off work, which is the most I've ever had off work. So I'm taking my birthday week off and I'm going to Victoria for a little bit and it should be lovely. So I'll vlog my work week and then I'll bring you guys along like my time off and we'll go to Victoria together and it will be lovely. So lots of exciting things coming up and I appreciate you for being here and for watching my life because what a pleasure it is to share my life with y'all so if you haven't subscribed yet please do and like this video comment down below and i'll catch you in my next one bye hurt me more or let me go in this game my heart will lose change your ways or set me loose